Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Ross, I'm a photographer and video maker from Northern Ireland. In today's video, I'm gonna be taking a few photographs with my original X100. So, welcome to my YouTube channel. Let's go, let's do this. So the idea for today's video was to drive down the road to Malisle, which is a lovely little seaside town, just one along from Donaghadee, where I did a video before. So that's what I did. I jumped in my car, drove down to Malisle, parked up, and it started absolutely lashing. So I just thought I would do the intro to this video in my car. I hope you don't mind the noise of the rain hitting the car too much. Maybe it'll put some of you to sleep. Maybe my voice will do that anyway. In 2017, I was on the hunt for the perfect travel camera a camera I could just sling around my shoulder and take it absolutely everywhere I went. While I was on that hunt for the perfect everyday camera, a notification popped up from my friend Paul, who was selling his X100, this boy here. I just loved how the camera looked, the dials on the top. It was really small, really light. I knew absolutely nothing about Fujifilm at the time and just took a bit of a gamble and just bought it off him because I thought it looked cool. After buying the X100 in 2017, the first thing I did was to buy this skinny leather strap just so I could chuck it around my shoulder and take it absolutely everywhere I went. And that's what I did. I took the X100 to every place I visited, every gig I went to, basically every time I left the house, I had this bad boy wrapped around me, ready to take a few photos. After a while, I did stop using this camera and it laid at the bottom of my skateboard bag for a long time, collecting dust and getting covered in skate wax. So fast forwarding to today, if you don't already know, I've completely changed my whole system over to Fujifilm in the last couple of months. Using my X-Pro3 and my X-H2S pretty much every day since I've bought them, I've kind of got to know everything that these cameras are capable of, but that's left me wondering, what about my X100? Maybe I should fish it out and see if it's capable of more than I thought it was back in 2017 when I bought it. So that's probably enough chatting. I'm gonna jump out of the car and embrace the rain and see if I can still take a good photograph with this 13 year old camera, the X100 in 2023. Come with me. So I've literally been shooting for about five minutes. It's super wet and really gray and mizzly. So I'm battling the rain, I'm battling the light. I'm determined not to let today beat me. So I'm gonna keep shooting and see what I can find. Apologies if it turns out really gothic. I promise you Malisle is a nice little town if you came to visit. If you're gonna come to Malisle, maybe don't come early January. Anyway, I'm gonna keep shooting, see what I can find. I hope the test still works.
So that's it for my video today. I really enjoyed digging out my X100 and running around cold, wet, gray, malile, taking a few photographs. I hope they turned out okay. Obviously this camera is 13 years old. The only way you can tell it's 13 years old is by how scratched my camera is and how slow the autofocus is compared to modern cameras. But a slow autofocus isn't really a big issue when you're taking photos like I was today. Obviously like the rest of the cameras in the X100 range, this has a fixed lens, it's 23 millimeters which I think works out at full frame 35. I just found it a little bit wide for my liking. Loads of people obviously love shooting this focal length, so it's not a big issue. I'll definitely be keeping a few X100 batteries charged up and throwing this camera in my bag for future projects. One thing I'd love to try with this camera is get a good JPEG recipe, so stay tuned for that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in another one soon. Bye.